Hey folks, I've uh, been puttering around today trying to go through the various candidates for uh, state senate or for U.S. Senate for New Hampshire. And this one particular roadside card caught my eye. And it said, had enough? Well, haven't we all? I decided to look him up, did a Google search, found him. His name is uh, uh, Dennis Lamar, or Lamar. I'm sorry, I. L A M A R E. But, anyways. And. I just thought I'd do a Google search and check him out. Well, he had a place where, you know, I went through his ideologues, issues, I guess they call them. And I thought I would zip him a question, send me a question. It had. So I sent him a question. The following information was submitted through the De Dennis Lemaire for U.S. Senate website contact uh, form on 8-1-2010. I did this about, uh, I would have to say about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Name, Paul Canfield. Email address, oldgraywolf at gmail.com. Message. How do you stand on the U.S. Constitution, particularly the First, Second, and Tenth Amendment? This guy's got my attention. Now I have more questions for him. But sending this on a Sunday, a nice afternoon, I really ex didn't expect to get an answer much before Monday, maybe Tuesday. Monday if they were a bit ambitious, Tuesday if they were just... Anywho, two hours later I received an email. A beautiful Sunday afternoon. Mr. Canfield, I hope all is well with you. I believe the Constitution is the law of the land and the foundation for our freedoms. I believe the Constitution is explicit, and what is not there cannot be inferred. I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution against all enemies, both domestic and foreign. The rights in the First and Second Amendments are inviolate and cannot be infringed upon by the government. They are the foundation of our society and must be protected at all cost. The Constitution grants limit, limited powers to the government, and what is not granted to Congress is given to the states and to the people. Again, what is not expressed in the Constitution cannot be inferred. I believe that the states and, and people have greater powers for self-determination, and the federal government must not legislate where it does not have authority to do so. I hope this answers your question. Regards, Dennis Lemaire. I'm going to have a few more questions for him, but so far... Sorry, Bill Benny. No. This is what I'm looking for. Give us back our freedoms. Give us back our rights. Peace out, all. Just something to think about.